some job guys are coming in being ready. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you for being ready. We give a card to everybody. Remember what we've been studying. Words that end in G E make the J sound. Words that have D G E has a short vowel like ledge, nudge, badge. Words that have a consonant plus G E has kind of a strange vowel sound. It's really not short, really not long. Charge, orange, sponge. And words that end in a vowel followed by G E usually is a long vowel like age, huge, and uncaged. Today I want to show you how you can use this knowledge that you're learning this week to help you read words. So I have an idiom written up here on the board. An idiom, you probably already know this because I'm sure you've studied them. Idioms are sayings that don't literally mean what they say. They're usually a deeper meaning. So take a look up here on the board. I'm going to show you how to use what we're learning this week to help me solve a couple of words that have G, E, and E. It was almost time for Tina to sing her song on st Well, I know what A-G-E is, age. Sing her song on stage. And her mom was sitting on the, you weren't sure of this word. You know that with D-G-E, it's a short E sound. Her mom was sitting on the edge of her seat. See how I use that. What we've studied this week to help me solve words. Those words are pretty simple. But sometimes you encounter words in a book that have D-G-E in them, or just have G-E. And you can use that to help you. What does that mean? Her mom was sitting on the edge of her seat. Does it mean that her mom was like about to fall off of her seat? Yes, girl. What does that mean? Her mom was sitting on the edge of her seat. It was almost time for <coughs> Tina to sing her song. And her mom was sitting on the edge of her seat. What does that she mean? Her mom was like, couldn't wait. Absolutely. She was so excited. Maybe even a little bit nervous, right? But she just couldn't wait. It's like it's about to happen. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to try this out. I'm going to show you a few words. I want you to use what we've been um, learning this week to help you read those words. Don't say it out loud. Read it in your head first. <laughs> In a second, I'm going to ask you to turn to the person next to you, tell them how you read this word, and if you weren't sure what this word was, what you could have used to help you figure it out. Go. Okay, stop sharing in three, two, one, zero. Fantastic. I heard everybody say sage. I heard some different reasonings. People said they noticed the word age inside of it. You weren't certain. You could use the um, feature we've been studying, that words that just end in G-E with a vowel in front of it. It's going to be a long vowel. Sage makes the sound of the name of that letter. Great. Let's try this one. <coughs> Read it to yourself first. say go, you're going to turn to your neighbor, explain the word you solved, and if you didn't know it, how you could have solved it. Go. Okay, stop sharing in three, two, one, zero. I heard you saying it has D-G-E at the end. Fantastic. You looked at that vowel in front of the DGE. What we've been studying this week is a short vowel. So you're not going to read this word triuge, right? You're not going to read this word trug, are you? How do you know this word is not trug from what we've been studying this week? Some kids, when I read to them, they say trugged. I don't know, they see that D in there and they just say trugged. How do you know that word is not trug? It's not trugged. Based on what we've learned this week, how do you know? Kyle? Uh, it has a D in front of a G. And what's after the G? An E. So okay. And what sound does it make? The 
Right. Fantastic. Okay, last one. Trudge, by the way, if you're not certain, it kind of needs to go like this. Rock with real heavy steps. Either you're like feeling really upset or um, maybe you're like in a mud situation and you kind of have to walk that way. Okay, last word. <coughs> Read it. Side your head. One, two, three. Everybody say it. Cringe. Cringe. Raise your hand if you can explain. If you were trying to help somebody solve this word, maybe you're reading with a reading buddy from J.C. Summer, and they came to this word, what would you tell them to help them figure out cringe? Cringe, by the way, means you kind of go like this. You kind of wince, or you kind of make a, a face kind of like almost in pain a bit. Cringe. How would you tell them? How would you tell them? How would you tell them? I would say that there is a G. Okay, a consonant before it. And what would you tell them about the GE? It makes the J sound. Fantastic. You absolutely cringe. Great. Okay, today, you are going to go to your seat and, well, a seat, not your seat. You are going to get a stack of words that you worked with yesterday with a partner. Today, you are going to get these stack of words. It does not matter which color you grab. Just grab a color. And you're going to sort again on our sorting sheet. But today, you're going to sort by yourself. Okay? I want you to be thinking what we're learning this week to help you decide where the words go when you are all finished and you have all the words sorted. You need to stand up find someone else in the classroom who has all of their words sorted, okay? Ask them to listen to you as you read every word on this page, okay? Listeners, you have an extremely important job. Remember I've told you, word study is about helping people become better readers, just like it is about helping them become better writers. So listeners, you need to really listen to people read the words. If they read a word and you disagree with how they said it, respectfully disagree with them. You know what? I'm sorry. I disagree. I think this word is blank. Or you could say, I could see why you think this word is trucked, but it's really trudge. Just respectfully correct them. You're not going to do something like, duh, that word's trudge. Respectfully. Okay? Listeners, after you listen to one person, Make yourself available for other people, okay? When you are all done reading your words to a listener, I want you to go back and I want you to look at your entire list. I want you to pick one word off of your list that you kind of had to think about before you put it down. Which was one word you had to go, oh, no, yeah, oh, yeah here. Or maybe there's one word you weren't sure of. So you're either picking a tricky word or one that maybe slowed you down a bit. And I want you to bring that word with you back to our meeting spot. Raise your hand if you have a question. Okay. <clears throat> if I call your name, come pick a word. The sorting sheets are right there. Um, Aaron, Aiden, Avery, Brady, 